Hey, most amazing top 10 family, and we're recording from the house once again. And as you guys can see, probably in the last video too, I need a haircut so badly. I got so much hair. Look at this. Look at how much hair I got going on right now. This is craziness. I got so much hair. I need to get a haircut, but you can't get a haircut during a pandemic. That's a thing. So I guess I'm just going to have to wait. And then if it goes on forever, maybe we'll just be like some crazy long hair dude in the apocalypse. That's a possibility. But... You guys are here because I am your host, Chade Reyna, and this is Most Amazing Top 10. I know it is crazy times right now, and a lot of us are stuck in quarantine. Hope you guys are staying home and staying healthy. This is really the best excuse to stay home, relax, and watch a ton of YouTube videos. Am I right? And a lot of us are wondering when things will get back to normal. Will life ever be the same after this ends? Could something like this happen again? What other viruses could cause a pandemic? It's all scary stuff, isn't it? But for those of you who would like to stay informed, I'm bringing you today's list of top 10 scary viruses that can cause the next pandemic. Make sure you guys stick around for the whole video because I'm going to be doing some more pet shoutouts, which you guys love so much. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. I pick new pets every day, so if you don't get picked one day, you can message back another day. If it takes me a little while to get back to you, I am very sorry. I usually pick to message last, so if you guys just message, the more you message, better chance you have of getting picked. And without taking any longer, starting off at number 10, we have the chronic wasting disease virus, also known as the zombie deer disease, or as I like to call it, the walking dead virus. This rampant disease has already spread to 24 states in the U.S. currently. The disease only affects hooved animals such as elk, reindeer, moose, and various other deer species. It wreaks havoc on the creature's brain and nervous system, infects the animal's body, and it wastes away as it rapidly loses weight. And eventually, it will begin to stumble around confused and lifeless like some sort of undead creature, hence the name the zombie virus. There is no known cure yet, and it is growing every day. Zombie deer disease hasn't yet spread to humans, but the CDC predicts that if it were to jump to people, it would most likely happen through the consumption of infected deer meat. The director of Center of Infectious Disease Research said she still doesn't know if there ever will be a transmission to humans, but there surely could be one in the future like it's so unknown. So for goodness sake, stay healthy and don't eat any zombie bambies. So if you see a zombie deer, don't try and eat it or anything like that. Coming in at number nine is the Zika virus. Yeah, I bet you have heard of this one before, but unfortunately there is still no cure. If we can't find a cure, how much will this nasty virus spread across the world? This awful disease is spread mostly by the bite of an infectious mosquito. Pregnant women beware. Zika virus can be passed into a pregnant woman and affect the fetus. Infection during pregnancy often will cause many birth defects. The good news is that people rarely die from Zika, but there are nasty symptoms. For the average person, including fever, rash, headaches, and joint pain, and red eyes, and muscle pain. Not exactly how I would like to feel. So I should be sure to use a ton of insect repellent if I head into any infected Zika zones. Filling up the number eight slot is the Ebola virus. Ebola is still a deadly disease with outbreaks that are occurring primarily on the African continent. Ebola was first discovered in 1976 near the Ebola River in what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since then, the virus has been infecting people from time to time, leading to outbreaks in several African countries. Scientists do not know where the Ebola virus comes from. However, based on the nature of similar viruses, they think the virus is animal-born, with bats and monkeys being the most likely source. Infected animals carrying the virus can transmit it to one another, like apes to monkeys and humans. According to the World Health Organization, the Bundabuggy Ebola strain has a death rate of up to 50%. And it's up to 71% for the Sudan Ebola virus strain. The good news here is that we do have a vaccine for the Ebola virus now. But the survival rate depends on how quickly people get medical help after showing symptoms. So remember, don't be a hero. If you feel seriously ill, you should probably go to a doctor. Like, I know, now's a weird time. Should I go to a hospital? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to let you guys pick for yourself. You're all grown-ups. I mean, some of you may. Talk to your parents. I'm, I shouldn't be in charge of this at all. Now, number seven is the Marburg virus. This fearsome virus has a death rate of up to 88%. It is in the same family as the virus that causes Ebola. Two large outbreaks first occurred in Germany and then one in Siberia. This was followed by cases in Angola, Congo, Kenya, South Africa, Uganda, and two independent cases that were reported in travelers who visited caves that were inhabited by bat colonies in Uganda. Human infection with Marburg virus started from prolonged exposure to mines and caves with bat colonies. 
When someone is infected with a virus, Marburg can spread through human to human transmission via direct contact through broken skin with blood or other bodily fluids of infected people. It can also spread on things like bedding and clothing that are contaminated with these fluids. So my best advice would be don't go hang out with any bats anytime soon. At number six, we have one of the modern world's most deadly viruses, which is HIV. It is still the biggest killer. It is estimated that 32 million people have died from HIV since the disease was first recognized in the 1980s. Powerful antiviral drugs have made it possible for people to live for years with HIV, but the disease still continues to devastate low and middle income countries, where 95% of new HIV cases occur. Nearly one in every 25 adults within the World Health Organization African region is HIV positive. Not everyone can afford to be Magic Johnson and fight this disease with fat stacks of cash. Coming in at number five, we have the Rift Valley Fever. This brutal fever is a viral disease most commonly seen in domestic animals in sub-Saharan Africa, such as cattle, buffalo, sheep, goats, and camels. People can get RVF through contact with infected animals or through bites from infected mosquitoes. Luckily, spread from person to person has not been documented. Although RVF causes severe illness in animals, most people with RVF have mild illnesses with fever, weakness, back pain, and dizziness. However, a small percentage of people infected from this develop much more severe symptoms, including eye disease, excessive bleeding, and swelling of the brain. This sounds extremely extremely painful. If you're ever visiting Africa or anywhere that might be infected with this, make sure you use a ton of mosquito spray. And number four is the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. This is best known as MERS. This deadly virus is a viral respiratory disease that is another strain under the corona umbrella. The most terrifying thing about this virus is that approximately 35% of reported patients with the mers cov infection have died. Luckily, the virus does not pass easily from person to person unless they're in close contact. Believe it or not, the major carriers of this deadly disease are camels. What do you think of that? Should we think twice before doing an epic insta-worthy camel ride through the Sahara Desert? The first major outbreaks of this disease have been reported in Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and the Republic of Korea. Filling up the number three spot is the Crimean Congo hemorrhage fever. This nasty virus is a viral hemorrhaging fever, usually transmitted by ticks. It can be contracted through contact with animals who have the virus. The scary thing about this fever is the death rate is 10 to 40 percent, potentially resulting in hospital and health facility outbreaks and it is difficult to prevent and treat. This frightening virus is currently found in all of Africa, the Balkans.
healthy.